Hey everyone, this is Meg at Chasing Retro. Today I have a short little thing to show you. I have a, another Etsy order that has come in from the gift card that I used for my birthday. And I also have a package here of napkins. One of my viewers, Susan, reached out to me to ask if I would like to do a napkin swap. And I said, sure. So I sent her the napkins that I had that she thought she might enjoy in her projects and she sent me a few that I picked from photos that she sent me. So let's open the let's open the Etsy order first. I did not order a whole lot from this shop. This is from Hobby Dog Creations. I will link the shop below as I always do. I've always liked this shop and I've had it sort of in the background as you know wanting to order from them at some point. So I'm glad I got a chance to do that. She has a ton of things in her shop to pick from. Ton, ton, ton. From this shop, I ordered some trim and some vintage gift wrap. Yes, here is her business card with the information on it. If you'd like to check it out. So I ordered this cute little pastel pink and blue trim. I thought it would be cute, not only for retro sewing journals, but maybe even baby because of the colors. And it is just so cute. It's crocheted, not hand crocheted, I'm sure, just um, machine crocheted, but it's vintage. And I probably honestly won't use it as a trim. I'll probably cut it apart and use each individual rectangle as just an embellishment on in clusters or on tags and stuff like that. I think each segment she sold set in segments of 17 triangle or triangles, 17 rectangles, and I bought two segments. So I have 34 rectangles here. Plenty to work with. And next, some gift wrap. them. Isn't that cute? See, I loved these small, easy to manage pieces because I can just glue this onto file folder and turn it into a pocket or tag. Easy, easy. Fairies. That's adorable. It's like they're made out of yarn. I never ever find gift wrap that old, really. This is cool, it's very 70s patchwork looking. That's funny, I have the same gift wrap, but I don't have a lot of it. I love to use these in my, this in my 80s journals. That's adorable. Look at the Mickey Mouse balloon. Ooh, that's pretty. I can use that in the peach journal. It's got raindrops on it. It's kind of pearlescent. That is gorgeous. This is pretty too. It's sort of a corally pink. So again, I might be able to use that in the peach journals. Oh man, this is cute. That just reminds me of my childhood. I feel like when I was born, um, the 70s patchwork things and Holly Hobby were very much still a part of trends, but you know, it kind of extended into the 80s decade as well. Ooh, this is pretty. It's like an embossed white on white, and I see some daisies there. I don't know. Well, sorry about that. Ooh, that's pretty. It's also pearlescent. Isn't that nice? Red dot, such a classic. For the bride to be, it's got little roses on it. That's cute. Ooh, this the whole thing is pearlescent. Butterflies. 
kind of watercolor or almost like um, airbrush looking. There's some plaid. Ooh, Lily of the Valley. That's going to need to go in a project that I'm working on right now. It's got wedding bands, but that's fine. So cute. World Wildlife Fund. I remember in the 90s when everything was Save the Rainforest. Um, I think there was even a Save the Rainforest cereal. I remember eating it. Here's some metallic. Ooh, that's neat. Cross stitch. More wedding bells. Ooh, look at that. That is so 90s. I feel like that teal, yellow, and purple were the epitome of the 90s, don't y'all? This is cute. It's a gold foil. Happiness for you. And it's kind of folded in, into itself, so I bet it's a bigger piece than it appears. Yep. So cute. Ooh, here's another peachy one, but it's got some yellow. I love that. Flower squares. Those are like real pictures, I think. This looks like dogwoods, which are blooming where I live right now. It's my favorite time of year. I love dogwoods. That looks like maybe magnolia, but that's a dogwood. Ooh, look, strawberry blossoms. I love it on the black too. And, oh, this is cute, so cute. Almost has a Scandinavian feel to it. Okay, so that's Hobby Dog Creations. Those are the items from that shop. And now let's look at the napkins. My washing machine is going and y'all might hear it. It's kind of loud today because there's something with zippers in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's real close to the edge. Let's see if I can, I might just need to rip it. No, I think I'll do that. I don't want to tear anything. Susan, thank you for reaching out to ask about doing a swap. I never really think about swaps. That's kind of funny that I don't, but I don't. I do happy mail sometimes, but not swap. Okay, that's it. Looks like you sent me a few other goodies as well. Yay. Oh, thank you for the giraffes. How adorable is that? Yay. Oh, and we've got some gift wrap here too. So that's a much better way of protecting the napkins. I just put a piece of a cereal box in my package. I'm sorry, I should have wrapped it in something more fun. And again, this will be perfect for my current journals. 1989 Hallmark. Oh, that's super vintage. Well, I really normally wouldn't call 89 vintage, but I know people do. So I'm getting on, on board with that. Look at this little owl. It's like an embossed punch. Cute. All right, we have a watermelon. I chose this because I, I love it. They're like 1940s swimsuits. Loving it. Here's some beautiful watercolor floral. Oh, some more giraffe stuff tucked in here. So fun. That's hilarious. They're wearing clothes and they're kind of piled. Looks like they're piled on top of each other in a chair, maybe. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, you sent me a card. Let's look at it. Look at that. It's a little turkey in the oven. Oh. Thank you for that cute little card. That is adorable. I will be able to use this in journals too. Here's some gingham with flowers. 
Why does it show writing? Oh, look, it's got a recipe in there. Crispy Easter eggs. That is cute. I've never seen a recipe on a napkin. That's fun. I love the red and blue on this one. This one, I love this. This just, I don't know. It's so European looking to me. And another watermelon. Creative converting. I've never heard of that. Oh, you did not have to send me these extra goodies, but thank you. Oh, so cute. Look at that, LBJ in the white, the Texas White House. That's funny. Little flip-flop cards. Safari Rummy with a giraffe. I, I'm telling you, I am, I am going to have, I hope, enough to make two, if not three, giraffe journals. That is my goal. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. More punches. I love the elephant. Oh, this is a tag. You must have made this. This is awesome. So good. Cute. Fabric squares. Loving these. Oh, look, they're like... Oh, it's, um, it's flocked and printed. So unique. It looks like a raspberry or maybe strawberry. They're berries of some kind. That's pretty. Some pin, pin dots. Oh, these will be great for snippet rolls. I'm going to work on some for the floral journals I'm doing cute. That's a cute calico. It's got little slubs in the fabric. That's adorable. I love the purple. You don't see a lot of purple and yellow fabric. Those are the two colors that I have trouble finding. Those look like, I don't know what they are. I feel like a lot of wallpaper has this flower on it, whatever that flower is. Somebody help if you know. Ooh, this is super, super kitschy and cute. So adorable. Aww. She's kind of redheaded. So I'm partial to redheads because I am one. And beautiful. It's got like a, a light plaid in the background. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm, I know where I'm going to use this too. I was literally just looking on Etsy last night for 60s and 70s party invites. And I didn't see this one, but I saw a few that looked like that where the people were dancing. I think that's hilarious. Another giraffe. All about people. <laughs> This pig looks very interested, too. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's highlights. Oh, my goodness. Be still, my heart. Look at that little pouty face. Oh, cool. A um, calico giraffe. So cute. Oh, my goodness. You've blessed my socks off with giraffe stuff. That is awesome. Art supplies. <laughs> this reminds me of this highlights too. It reminds me of the classroom, like the classroom art that teachers would use in the 80s. Um, I don't know what company, Carson De La Rosa maybe? They all had that cute little chubby mouth and the eyes that but like that. So cute. Oh, look, it's a giraffe face. 
And then we have some Mary Inglebright cards. Oh, that is so pretty. I didn't know they carried her stuff at Current. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even see these. Look at these beautiful retro trims. This green is awesome, excellent. I love it. It looks like upholstery trim. I have some blue like this, but that yellow is so fun. Thank you, Susan. You should not have sent so many extras. I appreciate it. I will really, really, really put all of this to good use. I'll put my giraffe stuff in my giraffe folder right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, so excited. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be posting very soon, as soon as I can narrow down my choices. I want to participate in Angela the Traveling Crafters hashtag BOLO collaboration, which stands for Be On The Lookout. So she wants us to try to find books that we consider indispensable in our junk journaling and to do a sort of a flip through preview for everyone and kind of show them why you can't live without or why they should be on the lookout for these books for their crafting. So I have several in mind, but I just, I know I don't need to do like a two hour video because I could just show y'all hundreds of books because to me, they're all necessary, but I'm really going to try to narrow it down to three or four. So be on the lookout for that later this week. I'm also going to be making some ephemera for these floral journals that are ephemera that I've been putting in a folder a digital folder on my computer um, and saving for you need to try to make this one day. So I'm gonna pick a few things like that that I have not ever made before. And I would love to bring you guys along as I try to make these new types of ephemera to go in the journals. I think that'd be fun. So thanks for watching today. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far and I'll see you guys next time around. Bye.